What's up guys, welcome to Husen. In this video, we will be learning how to make a joystick touch control in a 2D top-down game. In this scene, I've created my player character, so go ahead and create your player if you haven't done so. For me, I'm using a player sprite that I created for my game called Bot Attack. You can use any player sprite of your own. Now, let's add our joystick into the game. The joystick asset that I'm currently using is by Kenny. Link to download it will be in the description below. Create a new canvas if your game hierarchy doesn't have one. And under canvas, I will create a new panel and rename it to Movement Joystick. This allows us to detect user's touch on the entire screen. Now, under the Movement Joystick, we will create a new image and rename it to Joystick Background. Let's drag the image into our Joystick Background game object and resize it to your preferred size. Create another image under Movement Joystick and call it Joystick. Add our Joystick image into the Joystick game object and resize it to your preferred size as well. Let's place our Joystick somewhere at the bottom of the screen. Let's click on our player game object and add a rigid body 2D component. Press the Z rotation and change the gravity scale to 0. Do note that this step is very important, so do ensure that your player has a rigid body 2D component. Now that we have our player and joystick in place, it's time to do some coding. Create two new c -sharp script called Player and Movement Joystick. Firstly, let's open up our Movement Joystick script. We can go ahead and delete the update function as we won't be using it. And we will add the Unity Engine.EventSystem namespace at the top. Next, let's create two public game objects and call it Joystick and Joystick Background. A public vector 2 called Joystick Vector, two private vector 2 called Joystick Touch Position, and Joystick Original Position. Lastly, a private float called Joystick Radius. In the Start function, assign the Joystick Original Position to be equals to Joystick Background dot Transform dot Position. Next, we will store the radius of the Joystick Background in the Joystick Radius variable. Create a new pointer down function which will be called when we touch on the screen. I want the joystick to move to the position of the user's finger. So let's set the joystick, joystick background and joystick touch position to be equals to my mouse position. Do not worry about using mouse position as it works perfectly fine on mobile devices as well. Next, let's create a drag function which will be called when we drag on the screen. We will use pointer event data to get our drag position. Using the radius of the background we saved earlier in the start function, we will add some conditional statement so that the joystick only moves within the joystick background. Lastly, create a pointer up function which will be caught when we are no longer touching the screen. Let's set our joystick vector to 0 so that our player doesn't continue moving when the joystick has been let go. And we will set our joystick and joystick background back to its original position. Save the script and head back to Unity. Click on the movement joystick game object and add an event trigger component. We want to add the pointer down, drag and pointer up event type. Let's attach our movement joystick script onto the movement joystick game object and assign our joystick and joystick background to it. We will call the pointer down function when the user touch on the screen. Call the drag function when user drags on the screen. And lastly, call the pointer up function when users are no longer touching the screen. Now when you click play, you can see that your joystick shifts towards the position of where you are touching the screen. The joystick rotates around the background and snap back to its original position when you let go of it. If your joystick radius is too wide or narrow, simply head back to your movement joystick script and increase or decrease this value. Now, let's open our player script. Change the update function to fix update and create a public variable of movement joystick, a public float called player speed and a private rigid body 2D variable. In the start function, we want to fetch the rigid body 2D from the game object. In the fix update function, we want our player to move when user touch on the joystick and stop moving when the joystick isn't being touched. So firstly, 
check if our joystick vector has been moved. If it is, our play will move towards the direction of where the joystick is pointing. Else, we want our player to stop moving. Save the script and head back to Unity. Attach the player script to our player game object. Attach the movement joystick and give our player speed a value. When you click play, your player and joystick should be working perfectly. That's all for this tutorial. Do hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. I've recently published a top-down shooter game called Bot Attack on Android and iOS, so do check it out. Link to download Bot Attack will be in the description below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.